Well, hello guys. Here I am back at you with uh, a video that's not such a pleasant video that, or a thing that you want to do, but it's necessary if you own an RV, travel trailer, uh, camper, is changing this ring because sometimes you'll get to where after some age that this ring wears out the seal and it, your stool will not hold water. If it's going down losing water then that seal's bad. It's actually not a hard thing to replace. It is kind of nasty but you want to put on some latex gloves. You want to shut off your water too before you do this. Drain it out. It's nicer if you too if you empty the tank and clean it out so it's not so bad. And uh, other than that it's actually not that hard to do. Um, I have the seals here from Bogue RV and I can post a link below to where you can pick these up on Amazon but it comes with uh, two seals in this kit and hopefully you don't uh, you may need the two seals if you happen to drop your seal down in the tank but hopefully that won't happen one thing you want to be sure of when you install this is make sure that you install it with the flared side or the indented side up, the flat side down so it'll seal because your plunger seals on the bottom flat side of this and uh, it's better if you put some lubrication on it like uh, I'm going to use vegetable oil on mine something that's biodegradable so the first thing I want to do is take my foot and I can push down the plunger and just work the old seal out it'll just pull right out like that You will get some black nasty stuff, of course, I think most of that is just like the black stuff off this rubber seal. So then you want to take this seal and put it in like this. There's a lip around there that you'll put this in, so when you let this back it won't be hanging up. So you want to make sure that you put it in that lip. There I put some vegetable oil on it so it won't be uh, hanging up when we uh, let the plunger go, or the flap back, and we'll be hanging up. So we'll take our foot again, push this down, be very careful not to drop this down in there because it would be hard to get out. And just work it around all the way. And you can see when you got it in there all the way around you will have even amount of black ring around on all sides and then when you let your plunger back it should just go right along there and seal up real good just like that and that's all there is to it now I can fill the bowl full I can run water in it at a hold the old seal was just getting old so time to change it out Now if you got it installed you can run some water in and make sure it's holding water good and it looks like it is not going to leak out so thumbs up but I'll post a link to this seal kit uh, from Bogue RV it's on Amazon I'll post it on my Amazon and I'll put it below in the description where you can check them out this is something easily that you can do and not take it to an RV dealer and pay a fortune just to change out something like this I already ripped that glove um, but Ain't no sense in paying for something you can do so simple right at home in your RV or while you're out camping if this happens you keep a couple of them in your uh, cubby hole in case this ever happens you can just change it out real simple but click the thumbs up on this video subscribe like my channel and catch y'all in the next one.